Hello and welcome. I'm very, very excited to have Troy Edmondson with us today. Troy is a Senior Partner with Professional Investment Services in Queensland. Hi, Troy. How are you? I'm great, Rachel. How's yourself? Good, good. Thank you for uh, for coming along today, Troy. Um, just got some questions that I'd like to ask you. The first one would be, how long have you had your own business for and what do you specialise in? Okay, the business has been running 10 years. I have one business partner, Wayne Tiley. We specialise in risk insurance insurance only for small business owners. So that includes um, you know, non-related business partners in a practice. So we put together a business will for them and work with a solicitors and accountants to make sure they get to put in place. We have one business unit manager, seven support staff and 13 other advisors in our practice. Fantastic. So you have a very, um, a very defined niche by the sound of it. Yeah, and it works pretty well. And because we primarily only work with accountants, um, our business is very process driven. Accountants are very process driven, so I think they like that in our practice as well. Fantastic, Troy. I, I know that um, you get out about out and about a bit. Can you um, share with us what awards you have won? In 2006, I was fortunate enough to be awarded the Advisor of the Year through the AFA, um, Association of Financial Advisors, and uh, subsequent to that, have been. Um, with three our life and fee professional investment services have been the uh, risk reduce of the year for the last five years been top of the table qualifier for um, the million dollar round table MDRT as well fantastic that's that's uh, that's all excellent well done can you busy. tell us yeah sure it does can you tell us Troy what do you think um, makes your business so successful and I think it's pretty elementary, but we always try and, or we always do put the, the client's needs um, ahead of ours when you're talking about remuneration, that sort of thing. So it may only be a uh, small increase when you're doing a, a review, but always put the client's needs first, uh, which is important also from the accountant's point of view as well. We, um, we are very strategic in what, what we put together for clients in terms of strategy, in terms of ownership, uh, beneficiaries. Uh, we get the solicitors involved and to make sure that wills and jury powers of attorney, testamentary trusts are drawn up as well and through superannuation uh, we set up uh, you know, lump sum benefits and, and pension benefits to beneficiaries as well. So we encompass a whole lot in terms of a one-stop shop, I suppose from a state planning point of view for clients of which um, I think they, the clients enjoy that because it's not just about having a day flogging an insurance policy which is the, I suppose the old way of doing business. Um, mm. for insurance advisors. So it's a, um, I suppose, it's a holistic approach to, to estate planning. And so we provide that service to um, accountants and financial planning clients. And because it's, I suppose, such a structured service, that's why I think we um, are reasonably successful with um, extracting uh, referrals out of accountants and financial planners. Mm, fantastic. They obviously value your service as well. It, it tends to fairly um, well, so... Yeah, fantastic. Troy, can you, um, your last question for today, can you share what you think five, or can you share five business improvement tips that you could offer other business owners? Okay, so I've come from, I suppose, a background where I tried to be all things to all people and tried to do financial planning, mortgages and insurance. I realised that that um, is not going to make you, make you successful. That's why we um, would be about seven years ago we decided to get on the specialist route for risk insurance. And so that's a, um, I suppose, one of the, the first tips I would offer anyone to, you know, pick a niche market or in a specialist area and concentrate on that. And once you've got that, put a lot of systems and processes in place and then go and explain those systems and processes to referral sources. And, you know, in our instance, accountants are very good referral sources as well as financial planners who don't want to become involved in risk. And so if you can explain those services well enough to to account financial planners, then certainly referrals will will flow. And always put the client's needs ahead of yours, which is pretty elementary. One of the things that we do um, have worked out pretty well is we, as Stephen Covey said, begin with the end in mind. So we do concentrate on the on our claims management service to clients. And so that's first and foremost. And so I think that client makes clients feel very comfortable in terms of you know what our processes is. They are aware that 
They have 24-7 access to me in case an event does occur. They can call me any time. I'll ask them a few questions. I think there'll be a claim. Um, and I'm generally at the hospital bedside within 24 hours filling all the claims paperwork out for them. Um, so we do that, uh, which works well uh, for clients, accountants and planners. And one of the other things I would certainly mention is you need to communicate often and effectively with all your clients and referral sources, especially if they're going through the underwriting phase. You need to get the clients informed and also as well to keep the accountant informed as what you're doing with their clients and how the pro how the progress of their applications are going as well. So communication is very, very important. Excellent. Well, Troy, thank you. So I know that you're a busy man and, and you have an absolutely phenomenal business, so we really do appreciate you sharing that information with us today. So that was Troy Edmondson, Senior Partner with Professional Investment Services in sunny Queensland. Fantastic. Thanks, Rachel. <clears throat>